and only commies don't stand for the singing of the national anthem here at the Den. Ladies and gentlemen, as we welcome from our nation's capital, or at least the old capital, as the new capital will be right here in the Den, we welcome the Ottawa Senators. For Canadian supremacy here, it is Mon Geese hockey action. I'm Wally Weasel, and thank you for tuning in to another game here for Hockey Night on Weasel Studios. Oh, 45 second intro there, ladies and gentlemen. That's the sort of work I give for you. And the only question on everyone's mind here is how big will the goal gap be between the Mongeese and the Senators? They'll have to go back to Sparta Cat and explain how it is they... What the hell is this? Ottawa somehow stealing a goal while I'm trying to demean them. You can't do that here, not in the den. Will you let the announcer finish before you give him another goal? What the hell is wrong with you people? It's now 2-0 and we're only a minute and a half into the first period. not the way this is not the way it should be at all and Quinn you can always count on no you can't count on Quinn not this time nobody should count on Quinn Ottawa coming in and violence John there with the pickup Grouch skating along nicely more nimbly than a figure skater and shot taken but deflected off the pad. Quinn now from far away. Grouch takes the shot next. Can't get it out, but shoots it out though. No centers, and there we go. Yes, take him down. One after the other. No, Grouch, don't lose the puck. That's not how this game works. Four players trying to vie for the puck. Ultimately held on by Ottawa and another attempt. And Violence John skating up fast. Passes it up to Elizabeth. Elizabeth coming along. And no. Left is there. And again. Cougar who's really got to be on his game now. Unfortunately, Wilson can't quite get it up there. Is this why Ottawa has remained Canada's capital for so long? Is it because nobody can beat them at hockey? As I say, the, the capital will be moving here. Parliament will have all of their meetings. Bitey will take his spot at the throne of Canada. Because that's just what Bitey does. He sees a nation. He takes a nation. The face off right in the corner. Go up down to Weaselton. Weaselton taken down. But the puck set straight up. But no, Ottawa still managing to keep hold of it. And another attempt. And Cougar. Gets it out there to Sada. And Sada just taken down. Three on one. What is this? What kind of goons do you have playing for you there, Ottawa? Well, up to Weaselton. Weaselton now coming and taken down before he can even pass. Weaselton, he visits orphans. 
He visits all the sick crippled orphans he can. Cheer for him, Regina. Cheer for your hero. Granted, there are not many sick crippled orphans here in Regina. At least not until Rip Weaselton comes to town. But how else do you think those photo ops happen? And Angel takes the shot, and it's held on. Fatso. Now down to Grouch. Up to Quinn. And Puck is bouncing around in front of the net and held on again. And again, held on. They're holding on here. Last up and up and up. And Elizabeth taken down from behind. I have to think that a portion of Elizabeth. Paycheck is given to these sick, crippled orphans. I mean, 1% is still a percent. Yet Ottawa doing what they can to take down the Mongeese. And Wing holding on to the puck. It was a dream of hers since childhood. Wilson trying to get hold, trying to get it up there. And Quinn, and no, no, Grouch. And what the hell? Was that Mongoose being kicked? I don't know, that was Bobby. You can just go right ahead. Even Grouch. And the crowd cheering for their home team. Cheering for the Mongeese. And Whiskers, no. Taking out Grouch from behind. Back to Whiskers. Whiskers says no. Down to Wilson. Down to Quinn. Whiskers bow over to Bobby. Back to Quinn. Quinn shoots and does not get it in. Sinners coming in. Trying for a quick slap shot. Did not work. Slowly but surely moving up and... Wilson there to catch hold. Up for the Bobby. Bobby flicks it up. As you can hear, my inflection, it did not go in. It's getting dangerous again for the Mongeese. And Bobby doing what he can. Swinging his stick, kicking the puck. Bobby being trailed. And no, Bobby working around. And... And Gilly Cat had a shot. One shot, but it was not enough. And Cougar now holding on. Pause on this one. And Sada now. Sada down to Neville. Neville suits it around. Trying to get it steady. Setting up for a shot, but could not get it there. And in comes Ottawa. Nick Weaselton gets it out there over to Neville, because of course he does. 
Hill passes it along. Works his way around the rink. And Neville passes it up to Weaselson. Weaselson was charging in. Oh, those sick crippled cripples. And now the Longies realize they're just going to have to play rough right back. And Neville passes it up to Gilly Cat. Gilly Cat takes the shot. Deflected off. Comes Angel. Angel trying to come in from the side. Did not plan, work out though. And Dennis Fatso. And again, Angel and Dennis Fatso again. And waiting and no. You see Bitey commanding this crowd and saying, that's it, we're done. Elizabeth takes the shot and does not get through. Too many Senators in the way. Too many Senators on the field. And Wilson, who tries to get the Mongeese on the board. A slap shot attempt. Cougar just covering the puck, keeping it safe, keeping it safe from these mean, mean senators. Another attempt there by Ottawa. I'll be up to Oliver, and then Grouch. Grouch coming, skating around. Just kick Grouch. And another slap shot attempt. Need one minute here, ladies and gentlemen. Just in the first period, but still. We're managing those two goals in quick succession within a minute of each other. Could be the Mongeese' final chance. And not if they play like this. It's going to be Ottawa with one more shot. And then deflected off the chest. Saw Whiskers trying for the puck, but that was the end of it. As ladies and gentlemen, it is my sad duty to report that we are going to the second period to nothing. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the second period here in the Den. Score still a measly 2-0 in favor of Ottawa. This is where things will turn around. This is where the Mongeese will fight to shine. This is where dreams will be made. Lives will be ruined. Money will be had. These players in the, the goalie priest. Ottawa keeping close and Weak Weaselton getting it up to Superstar who skates it along. Gets it to the Ottawa side and Weaselton with a shot but deflected off the chest. And I think there's a whistle or something. 
Some damn fan in the crowd calling it. And there we go! Quinn with the goal! And Bitey loves it! There will be fewer souls eaten on, on Bitey's plate here tonight as the Mongies finally take to the board! That one on Quinn. This is by Grouch and Violence John. Amazing feat here. And Ottawa managing to answer back, keeping hold of that two point lead. Long East will have to pull a Christmas miracle to come out of this one. Easy to hear the call of the monkeys again and again and again here if we want monkeys to come out of here victorious. Well, I don't think anyone here wants to see Ottawa win. And oh, just blindsided. What the hell was that? Attempt there, and Cougar managing to deflect that one off. Down and again. What the hell? That was in the legs. That was the legs. In comes the mongoose. Let's hear some mongoose chatter. We're not allowed for the monkeys chatter. So we haven't seen a trouncing like this in Canada since the monkeys took on Winnipeg. That was an awful day. Well, Winnipeg managing to come out of there victorious. For whatever reason, monkeys seem to have the most trouble against other Canadian teams. So then their first contest against the Flames going all the way into overtime. Losing out to Winnipeg, as I just mentioned. And now, well, getting a bit of a trouncing from Ottawa. I suppose it's what they say. Look, Canada and their hockey could have an entire Canadian Stanley Cup. Wouldn't that be something? We have Bitey working over the crowd. What's perhaps worse for Long Geese is they'll have a Canadian tour coming up fairly shortly. We'll take one more pit stop in the U.S. next week, taking on Detroit. But then it's Edmonton, Vancouver, Montreal. We could be looking at three straight losses in a row. Longies will do what they can, though. Another attempt, and Cougar holds on. I don't want any popcorn this time. Not until the mongoose 
managed to turn this thing around. It's a hunger strike. It's a hunger strike against Ottawa and Cousin Bobby. Or sorry, Bobby, just just Bobby shoves the Senator, allowing Gilly Cat to come in. And no, two shots couldn't do it. And Whiskers going to take it to the attempt. So the crowd begins chanting, go geese, go, but cannot get too much of it on. And in comes Ottawa. And another attempt. No! The net there was open for a short bit. Fortunately, Ottawa too slow to react. That's Ottawa for you. That's right, buddy. Threaten them Ottawa players. So, oh, buddy loves a good fight. I'll fight just about anybody. Even a mongoose if he has to. And he might just have to. At one point in time, a fan tried to show Bitey that mercy does ex exist within the dictionary. And after bludgeoning him with a set dictionary, Whitey, Bitey took that page and ripped it out. Bitey does not know mercy. He doesn't even know meteorite anymore. on the attack. Weaselton now. No. Puck loosened out. And this Ottawa's taking hold of it. Passing it around. Passing it around. Who's going to take the shot? Does anybody care? So Oliver. Back to violence. John. Who shoots? And goes wide. Another attempt. But it's Ottawa now. Go oh, off the rebound. And violence shot over to Dennis Fatso. Who gets it up to Quinn? Quinn finding some trouble here. Trapped in the corner. And Cougar catches it in the air. And here we see Stone Cold Steve Austin. Visual ice coach for the fighting Mongies. This is the thing I was stone cold. Well, it's John getting it up to Superstar. Gets it down to Wilson. Wilson, the early loses hold, takes a shot. The caught hold of the from the or by the Ottawa Senators. Sorry. Into the boards. Well, it's John down to wing. Wing angling down. Wing just trapped against the boards and no one coming to her defense. And why is that? Because no one can get a good running start against the Senators in that direction. Bobby Elizabeth who gets it up to Wilson and now Whiskers who is taken out. And Wilson taken out just as well. Elizabeth there to pick up the pieces. And Ottawa steadily getting it up there, circling it around. Let's get it out of the monkey's side, guys. And it's Elizabeth who crosses the line, shoots it up, gets it out of the way. And Wilson having trouble. Gilly Cat in there to make the save. And Wilson to join in, but no. Ottawa managing to get out of that little scuffle. 
Another shot attempt, and Cougar holding on. Maybe just because the ref says so, we all have to stop playing. It's the ultimate power feel for the referee. And Kelbaum purposely putting herself in the corner there. Simon tries to pass it out. Took too long. And it's Ken Rill, the elf who can. Oh, well, elf who can get smashed into the boards. Angel up to Neville. Angel takes the shot. And again, held on with a minute and a half left in this second period. Ottawa looking tense. As they should. They know what's about to come. It's the mongoose thrashing. And McWeaselton turning around. McWeaselton. And again, held on after 22 seconds of play. Which is 20 seconds longer than you would see in any football game. It's left on attempts. And there we go! Due to the goalie's mistake, passing it back out to Weaselton, who says, You have it! And finally, the Mongeese continue up on the board as we go from three to two. Well, the announcer doesn't want to call it, so I'll call it instead. Ladies and gentlemen, that was a hell of a goal from Weaselton. Number 16 of the Fighting Mongeese. Time of the goal, 19 minutes. And spare change, I guess. And Ottawa going to try to keep that two-point lead. And quick shot, and Cougar holding on with just 15.2 seconds left to go. And the event is left empty. Keep that popcorn warm. The hunger strike could come to an end soon enough. And Neville up to Superstar. Superstar just going to skate it around. Take one final chance. No. Taken up by Ottawa and... Wide it goes as the Monkeys claw their way toward victory here. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back to 3-2 to two, and we will see you for the Monkeys' official victory in the third period. Welcome back to Mong Yeast action here, ladies and gentlemen. We are at the third period, the period where the Mong Yeast fight back, claw their way to victory. They are just one point behind. All they need is two points, and a victory is assured. Quinn could do it. Weaselton could do it. Anyone here could do it. Supers are down to Violence John and down to Fatso. A little taken out there. But in her last defiant moments, managing to shoot the fuck out. I don't know what she thought she could do from all the way up there, but she's a superstar regardless. Somewhere in the crowd you hear the call of the mongoose. True fans make the squeaks. 
do you have mongoose fever? And if so, you should probably see a doctor because that, that sounds like something that would be bad. It's not even something you would find in any his medical book. Ronaldo was still trying to make that attempt. They should just give up at this point. This is all about the mongoose. In comes Violence John shooting it up. As though the Mongeese were on a power play. And Quinn taking the shot. Having it for a split second to take another shot. Could not get it in. And once more, Wilson. So close, but could not get it in. Ottawa coming in now and take it out. You're not going to get close to Cougar now as Bobby skates along. Hums himself a little tune. And Ottawa coming back. Only one mongoose in the way, but no, now two. And one of them is Wilson, who kicks it up to Bobby, who passes it along to Elizabeth, who gets it down to Wing. Shot back as the Ottawa Senators come along. Hoping to get something here. Hoping to get anything. And Whiskers there, just in time. Whiskers, the good cat. Bobby down to... Wilson, who gets it back up to Whiskers, to Elizabeth, who manages to get around a little scuffle. And Superstar down to Fellbaum. Skates along, gets it up to Elizabeth, now to, or sorry, Weaselton, now to Elizabeth, back to Weaselton. Or Neville, sorry. And then Bobby holding on to it for a brief couple seconds as Cougar watches the puck go. Bobby, no Senators managing to steal hold of that one. Coming to a halt, and the Senators bound up an offense. Quick scuffle, and then Weaselton in there to hit the save. Superstar coming up. And again, held on here. And Real the Elf who can gets it down to Sada. And Cougar finally, after a bit of a pause, passes up to me. Bellbomb gets it to Angel over to Canrill. It's the B team on the field now. Angels coming in fast. Again. Really need these goals here from the Mongeese. They can't just keep playing defense. The power there as Angels takes hold of the puck. And Sada had it for a bit. Angel again coming in. Here comes Ottawa. Being chased around. And no. I thought that the Mongeese would have had it. And Dennis Fatso being chased down to Violence John. So the Angel who shoots it on ahead. Just does what she can to keep the puck at play. Oliver 
Trying to pass it up, but Ottawa there instead. Another shot attempt. And Quinn making her way up. Gets it over to Fatso. Fatso heading up north. Down to Quinn again. And Quinn over to Fatso. Two all over. Where's that Grouch? Why is Grouch in the 18? And again, backhanded and Cougar. Nearly getting his head caught in the net. That's how dedicated he is. You're just a little, a little beyond halfway through this period. And again, the Bonkies needs to get at least one goal to take this into an overtime. See them pull out last second miracles before, but they shouldn't be counting on that. And there we go! Superstar! We hear the call of the Long Geese as finally this game is tied up. Three to three. Seven minutes left, another attempt there. Almost two goals in a row by Superstar. So they would have been the MVP of this game, but still enough time to get that job done. And another goal, and it is indeed Superstar. Two goals in a row, and the Monkeys take the lead for the first time here. We will see Bitey. Feast upon Senator Meat here tonight. So just as Ottawa did at the start of the first period, the Monkeys respond in kind. Two goals within a minute of each other. Now they just have to hold on to this lead for six more minutes. Of course, if they can get one more goal just to be safe. Wouldn't that be something? Whiskers now just having the puck long enough to steady it. Bobby, good sandwich there, up to wing. We're gonna entrust in the B team here. Down to Elizabeth, who gets to Wilson. Ottawa coming in, and this is not what you want to see, Fatso, and then Violence John, Fatso again, over the wing, wing coming, and could not get it through without it being stolen out from under her, another attempt, and Fatso there to get it out of there, wing again, having it stolen out from under her a second time, but managed to get hold of it, could not get the pass completed. Down to just four minutes here, keeping a close eye on the clock. And indeed, Kruger, hold on to the puck every opportunity you get. As we are exactly at four minutes. And Grouch, Grouch the hero. And no, Grouch the goat. The bad kind of goat. The kind of goat you don't want to be. The kind of goat everyone makes fun of. Longy's making certain that Ottawa can't get any sort of goal, any sort of shot. Took this long as they finally started playing some hockey. This fell bump over to Cousin Oliver. Oliver gets it up to Quinn. Quinn manages to get a goal here. And we are now two points in the lead. Take that, Ottawa. Let's 
score now, 5-3. to three. Can you feel it as much as Bitey? So there we go, at two minutes and eight seconds, Ottawa will have to pull a first period miracle if they want to keep in this one. Fans on their feet. They can feel it now. The Mongies clawing their way out of from the jaws of defeat. It's Quinn's second goal here in, in a row and no, no goal. The referee says no. I want to keep my soul. Bitey is going to kill me. And indeed, you see it there. Keeping Cougar down, out of the way. Holding him from getting his goal. Or from blocking that goal. No goal here. And the crowd loves it. The referee's car will not be keyed. We're just about left with a minute left in this third period. Now the real question is, will Ottawa hold their goalie? And no, with just a minute left, they are emptying their net, the poor goalie. Ottawa is not taking this loss gracefully. At least, did they bring their goalie back in? There's no sign of it. I think they realized it doesn't matter. I think they finally accepted it. The crowd is cheering here in Regina, here in the den, here the new capital of Canada. Long may Bitey's reign be supreme and the Bears are hitting the ice something we have not seen in some time because Bears are the first time or at least this is the first time we are seeing Bears as the hat trick device and all of those Bears will be donated to the crippled orphans that Weaselton has crippled This is precisely what happens when you empty your net. The Mongeese are just teaching Ottawa a lesson at this point. A lesson that hopefully they will not forget as we are 10 seconds away from another Mongeese victory. The blood will flow of Bitey's enemies here in the den. As ladies and gentlemen, the Mongeese claw their way from defeat to victory. Absolute victory in classic Mongeese style. Thank you for tuning in, ladies and gentlemen. It has been an honor calling this one for you as Superstar takes the canoe ride. And rightfully so. It's been one hell of a game here from the den. We will see you next week as we take on Detroit in their own home turf. For now, I'm Wally Weasel. Good night, ladies and gentlemen.